Hello, everybody. If everybody wants to grab a seat, we are going to kick off the greatest graduation for Eastview High School yet. Give these graduates a hand. Welcome to the ceremony for the Eastview High School Class of 2021. My name is Latoya Easter and I am proud to say that I am the principal of Eastview High School. This is a joyous occasion that brings us together tonight. Let me say that again, brings us together tonight. We thank you for being here and please enjoy the celebration of the 2021 graduates. At this time, will everyone please stand for the presentation of colors by our NJROTC and the singing of our national anthem by our choir ensemble led by Patricia Douglas and Morgan Kramer. Please remain standing until our NJROTC clears the field. Thank you, you may be seated. At this time, I would like to invite Haley Williams and Alyssa Samantha Vidalis to the podium for the reading of the invocation. Please bow your heads to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for allowing each of us to safely gather in good health to celebrate us as we graduate. As we reflect upon our years of high school, we are grateful for the gifts of life, of our friends, family, teachers, and of each other. Through your guidance, we are able to be here tonight. Although we all experience different courses that prepared us for this moment, each of our stories required your offerings of perseverance, goodwill, understanding, wisdom, and courage. As we continue our journey of life, 
We are excited to experience the opportunities that will be presented through your loving and compassionate hands. Allow us to always trust in you now and in the future as we begin our new adventures after tonight. Give us the strength to, sincere, to be sincere in our daily responsibilities so that we may achieve the dreams you have put in our hearts. May you continue to inspire us to better one another through the newly crafted community of men and women that stand here today. Remind each of us every day to selflessly serve others, be courteous, honest, and fair in the game of life. We hope that we will successfully fulfill and never lose sight of your missions for us. We ask for all the joy and help to grow into virtuous individuals in order to create a better world of humble and empathetic leaders. As we will all embark on our own versions of life, we hope to reflect upon your good graces. Finally, bless us tonight as we receive our diplomas so that every graduate can feel your presence with this extraordinary accomplishment. We ask all of this in your name, amen. Thank you, Haley and Samantha. At this time, I would like to welcome Aaron Guerrero on stage for the senior class welcome and the presentation of guests. Aaron Guerrero. Thank you. Hello. I would like to start off by thanking everyone that has supported our class so that we could all be sitting here today. Family, friends, teachers, administrators, and staff. Without your encouragement and support, we would not be the people we are today or have the courage and stamina to reach the goals that we have for tomorrow. I would especially like to thank my mom, dad, and brothers because without their support and presence at all of my events and throughout my life, I wouldn't be where I am today. Y'all bring out the best in me. Thank you, and I love you. <laughs> now, students, my peers, my friends, patriots I may not have the, had the pleasure of coming to know personally, I first want to say congratulations. After many trials and much work, we have made it. This is what we have been working toward for not only the last four years, but throughout our K-12 journey. This year was truly not what any of us expected. I know freshman Aaron was expecting something similar to High School Musical, minus the singing, of course. <laughs> and while our senior year was interesting, to say the least, I could not have asked for a better one, considering the circumstances. As I look back on this year, I think of all the opportunities that we had. Though it didn't look normal, our teachers, our directors, and our coaches gave us everything that they could to give us our year. They too had to reimagine what school could be for us. I know personally, I was able to cheer at football games, perform in shows, and sing my heart out on stage. We celebrated culinary competitions where many seniors surpassed expectations athletes broke school records in a variety of sports, and we witnessed new traditions being made around us. Congratulations, patriots. We excel on so many levels. Academics, fine arts, sports, career, and technology. We persevered and can do anything we dream of doing. I think there is one word to describe our class, and it is resilient. From the day that we stepped into Eastview High School, we worked to deliver to our teachers what they asked of us and continued that mindset when times got tough. I know personally that ending junior year in quarantine was difficult, especially as we watched the problems unfold around us. I remember being in Mrs. Schultz's class when I originally learned about the coronavirus outbreak as we covered the news at the beginning of class and never would I have imagined the world as it is today, our new normal. Nevertheless, we took a break over the summer, came back in the fall, and did what we could. 
We took our opportunities and we made the best out of the hand that we were dealt. While our year was far from what I imagine any of us expected it to be, we as a class surpassed expectations as we learned and grew despite the obstacles that this year threw at us. And we did it. We rose up. Despite the virus that cut our high school experience short, despite any politics that showed us a division of what the world could really look like, despite the weather that gave us a week of snow and took our power, literally. We rose above because we can, because we are resilient. As we carry on through our lives, may we remember this resilience and the strength that we had as a group of high, school, of high schoolers that took on the troubles of the world. May we all treasure our experiences at Eastview and take pride in being a patriot. As I come to a close, I would like to leave you with this quote. What lies behind us and what lies before us are small matters compared to what lies within us. Ralph Waldo Emerson. There is so much within each and every one of you and I cannot wait to see what becomes of it. We will change the world for the better. Thank you for the last four years. Thank you for taking the first steps on the journeys of life with me and congratulations again to all of you because you did it, class of 2021. <laughs> At this time, I would like to introduce our special guest to you. Please welcome Dr. Fred Brent, Superintendent of Georgetown Independ Independent School District and our Board of Trustees, Mr. Scott Stribling, Mr. Andy Webb, Mrs. Melanie Dunham, Mrs. Elizabeth McFarland, Mrs. Stephanie Blanc, Dr. Stephen Benold, and Mrs. Jennifer Malden. We would also like to acknowledge former Board of Trustees, Mr. Ben Stewart and Mr. Marcos Gonzalez. Thank you all for your dedication to the students of GISD. Thank you, Erin, and thank you to our Board of Trustees and Georgetown ISD leadership team. I would like to introduce our salutatorian, Brooke Perry, to the stage. Brooke is the daughter of Camry and Bruce Perry. Brooke plans to attend Texas Christian University in the Honors College and major, major in Nutritional Sciences or Health Science Studies. She plans to pursue medical school or physician assistant school upon receiving her bachelor's degree. Welcome our salutatorian, Brooke Perry. Hello, class of 2021, parents and teachers. I couldn't find the words to write my speech, so instead I will be performing an interpretive dance. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not dancing. You don't wanna see that. I'm thrilled to stand here today as Eastview salutatorian after a long but also short four years. We have persevered through a year dominated by a pandemic and we are all too familiar with online assignments that are due at 11.59 p.m. We have taken time to test at home while our parents loudly cook dinner and our pets make more noise than we thought was possible. I cannot even count how many times my cat has jumped on my laptop and deleted everything. Long story short, the fact that we are all graduating here today speaks volumes about our drive and about Eastview's endless support. I would like to start off by thanking all the school employees, family members, and others who have pushed us to reach our full potential even when that was the last thing we wanted to do. Despite the chaotic nature of this year, students at Eastview continue to thrive. As a cheerleader, I got to experience the excitement as the football team made history by going further than they ever had in the playoffs. Additionally, as a senior class, we've amassed over 1.6 million scholarships. I think it is extremely apparent that what sets Eastview apart from other schools is those within it. Whether it's Miss Ball winning the lottery or Miss Ariana losing her hamster in her classroom, there is never a dull moment at Eastview. 
I firmly believe that Eastview has some of the most creative students, which has been apparent multiple times, especially at lunch last year, when kids connected their phones to the speakers in the cafeteria, played music, and the staff tried to figure out what had happened. And how could we forget about powder puff when touch football turned into tackle football? Eva Zane, who is on my team, knows this all too well. When Eva jumped up for the ball, she was body slammed completely to the ground. Another thing about Eastview is that seeing a goat inside the school is a very real possibility every day. You never know. Now that high school has come to an end, it's time for us to reflect on the past, take in the present, and look toward the future. Regarding the past, we have come a long way since we wore neon Nike Elite socks every day and threw up the fierce sign in every picture. I remember being in middle school and sprinting to class because I was terrified of being late, but now I just walk slowly and I'm out of breath from just walking up the stairs. Anyways, as we observe the present, we can appreciate the decisions of our past that have led us to where we are today. When it comes to the future, we can look ahead confidently, knowing that Eastview has equipped us with not just the book knowledge to excel in the future, but also the life skills necessary to contribute to society. When I was thinking about what to write in my speech, I struggled to come up with ideas. What could I write that would encompass the past four years of always hearing Miss Tatum's voice, no matter where I was in the school? I couldn't choose a topic, so I decided to write my speech about exactly that, not knowing what to do. As seniors in high school, there is a common misconception that we have to know what we want to do with our lives right at this very moment. But at age 18, it is unrealistic to think we will maintain the same mindset and goals as we grow throughout our lives. To quote the wise philosopher Fetty Wap, plans never go well for me. This quote resonates with me because I know that making plans isn't bad, but feeling pressured to follow your original plan is never ideal. I literally decided what college I was going to attend just a few days ago, and it all worked out fine. It is okay to say I don't know when people ask you tough questions you don't know the answer to. The phrase I don't know can also come in handy when Mr. Elkins asks when you will ever turn in your missing assignments. As we enter the real world, we need to be prepared to do what is best for us. Everyone will have an opinion on what we should do, but it's up to us to decide. Damon John, a member of the show Shark Tank, once said, success is waking up every day and doing what you want to do. He meant that we have to make decisions for ourselves because we are the only people who will experience the direct consequences of our choices. Sometimes it is necessary to put yourself first and prioritize your own needs. So as we all part ways after today, I hope you leave understanding that you don't have to know every detail of your future. Plans change and all we can do is adapt to the situation because we were made to do hard things. Whether you go to college, trade school, the military, or the workforce, I pray you give yourself grace as you forge your path and that you respect yourself enough to do what is best for you. I also pray that God blesses you with much joy, wisdom, and confidence, no matter what path you may choose and during any future hardships you may face. Lastly, I leave you with these words from the Bible, Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. Thank you. Thank you, Brooke. I would like to introduce our valedictorian, Eden Van Spybrook. Eden is the daughter of Rebecca and David Van Spybrook. Eden plans to attend Georgia Institute of Technology. Upon graduating with her bachelor's degree, she plans to pursue a master's in aerospace engineering. Her long-term goal is to combine her interests of engineering and aeronautics to work at NASA or another space-related organization. Please welcome Eden Van Spybrook. Good evening, everyone. Thank you all for coming out tonight to celebrate your graduates. I'd like to thank a few moments to thank the people who truly made this day a reality for me. 
to my friends who kept me sane but also ruined my sense of humor. Sorry in advance for this speech. To my teachers, Ms. Grimm, for recognizing that my tardiness is just a part of who I am. Coach Kernick for putting up with me for four years. Ms. Ray, for listening to my long-winded speeches and fostering a family of hermit crabs. To Ms. Oberg, for your compassion and demonstrations of the total displacement of a bumblebee. That was a weird one. To Ms. Rodriguez, for your true passion, love, and dedication to your students and to your teaching. To my family, my brothers, for being both smarter and cooler than me, my grandparents, aunts, uncles, and cousins, for taking time out of your busy lives to celebrate with me. And to my parents, finally, for your genetic stubbornness, but more importantly, your lo unconditional love and support. I am so genuinely grateful for all of you. So, I'm sitting in the Hartsfield Jackson International Airport at 3 a.m. trying to string together some coherent thoughts for a somewhat respectable commencement speech. I assumed, and my assumption was further reinforced by the wise words of Mrs. Ray, to avoid cliches like the plague, that few people would care to hear me drone on and on about shooting for the stars and chasing rainbows. Don't worry though, if that's what you're here for, I'll throw a couple out there. Now, one of the beloved traditions of Eastview High School is the obligatory freshman letter in which, in which each bright-eyed incoming student is handed a sheet of paper and an envelope and tasked with a simple demand, predict the future. As much as I would love to say that my 14-year-old self perfectly forecasted the sequence of events in my high school career, I'll admit, I may have been off in a couple of regards. However, I think that the one thing every single person here tonight can agree on is this. Our senior year has been everything but the expected. Change, though often unexpected and, and unappreciated, drives humanity. Or rather, humanity drives change. I haven't really figured out which is which. The point is that the beauty of life lies in its dynamic versatility, its unpredictability, the uncertainty of whether Mr. Elkins will keep or chop his ponytail this year. I see you. Will the freshman boys continue to slide chicken patties across the cafeteria floor in an uncanny representation of the World Curling Championship? Wonders never cease, but on a more serious note, I'd like to applaud and recognize some of the change makers in our class. Claire O'Shoney and Hannah Kilpatrick, who qualified and competed in Curl Culinary Nationals this year. Their team currently holds the title of the eighth best culinary competition team in the nation. Cole Blair, Sam Yantis, and Kale Barkley, the two-time school record breakers and state qualifiers for the four by 100 meter track relay. <laughs> and McKenna Lang, the captain of Glee for two years and the recipient of the Outstanding Soloist Award at the Texas State UIL competition. I think it's obvious to see that those accomplishments speak for themselves. Again, congratulations. And I would love to talk more about the studs in this class, but we simply don't have time in the program, so I apologize. It's time for yet another change. Graduation, new paths, unpredictable futures. Making decisions, but 
don't worry if that sounds terrifying. I, along with Brooke, chose which college I will be attending only yesterday. So it's clear to see that the future is uncertain, but you have the power to shape it. With that, congratulations. Remember to make it a great day or not. The choice is always yours. And remember that anything worthwhile is worth taking a little risk. Thank you. Thank you, Eden. And let's give those young ladies another round of applause. Those were extraordinary speeches. I would like to take a moment to recognize a very special group of graduates. If you are joining a branch of our nation's armed forces after graduation, please stand and be recognized. You may be seated. Can we also have any members of the audience who have served in the past or currently serving in a branch of the armed forces to please stand and be recognized. Thank you for your commitment to serving our country. Thank you. You may be seated. And at this time, I invite all educators to please stand and be recognized. Please help me giving a standing ovation for these courageous educators who charted new territory for our students and continue to trailblaze education for present and future graduates. Thank you for being difference makers and for going above and beyond to serve our students. Please be seated. As you all may know, I have a love for words because when used correctly, they can be the most beautiful expression of our feelings and emotions. However, I found myself almost lost for words to address you tonight. So I decided to go to something I enjoy doing when what I really want to say is so important to me that my brain cannot place it solely into structured sentences. I wrote you a poem. Don't get too excited. I thought of you at midnight, when the night swallowed daylight and the stars illuminated the sky. I often wondered about you and if you had questions about why. Why this right now? Why I so much felt down? Why can't this be over? And why the world sometimes sounded like thunder? I thought of you at midnight. When our world was loud and politics and divide, I wondered if someone was there to be a guide for your thoughts and wonders, for your struggles and confusion. I wondered how much of this you found a delusion, perhaps a conspiracy from what was already confusing, a pandemic on the rise, your school spirit in question with the tides, tides of fear and disappointment, yet you waited to be anointed by hope and peace and love above all. I thought of you at midnight. I wondered how to tell you it would be okay. I wondered if you knew that every 1201 could bring a brighter day. I wonder if you saw how beautiful we are, our colors, an array of rainbows, our spirit, a cornucopia of tungsten strength, our unity, the vaccine for bad days and hard times, spent, spent without we, without us, without you. But what I would say in this opportunity is I bet you wondered, is this hate or love? But we didn't survive, we thrived. We didn't give up, we went up. We didn't break down, we built. We didn't stop, we ran harder. I thought of you at midnight, waiting for 1201, knowing that you could shine light on a new dawn, knowing that you're the tie that binds us together, knowing that you're the push to our pool and the highs to our lows. I thought of you at midnight. Not everyone in life will see or understand your vision or passion for something. In fact, it may seem to them like you're holding on to nothing. Some people will say failure is a result that can't be changed, but I would say it's an opportunity to understand something that you didn't know how to change. Dr. King said, if you can't fly, then run. If you can't run, then walk. If you can't walk, then crawl, but whatever you do, keep moving forward. 
Keep moving forward, graduates, and know that greatness happens when you fail to accept failure as an option. I love you. Go be great, and know that every 1201 is a new and brighter day. Thank you, and I love you. Please join me in welcome, welcoming Dr. Fred Brent, Superintendent of Schools, to the podium. You do, you don't go far. So uh, I did not write a poem. Uh, guys, I just, before we certify you, that's the next step in tonight's uh, ceremony, before we get you across the stage, there's a couple of points I want to make, and, and I will say, I agree, the speeches we've heard tonight are amazing. Uh, I'm going to just scratch everything I thought I might say to you, because I think you captured it very well. But I'm speaking to you uh, tonight, not just as a superintendent, that guy that sends out a video every Tuesday that tells you what's going on with COVID and whatnot. Um, I'm going to also talk to you a little bit as a father. I have a graduate this year as well, and your experience has uh, struck a lot of emotions with me this year, just like it has you. And so I want to try to give you a, a brief experience for you to reflect on, and hopefully you'll carry that with you. So before we do that, I would like to ask for everyone in the stadium, if you would, please stand, but our graduates, if all of our parents and attendees, if you would just stand with me, please. Okay, students, here's what I'd like for you to do. I would like for you to look at the men and women standing over you tonight. There's some words that I also want you to think about. You have hope, perseverance, creativity, adaptability, and joy. The men and women standing over you tonight, they are your hometown. And what I hope that you will see these men and women standing over you have been praying over you, supporting you, and doing all they can to get you to this point. And what I would hope you would see is this a reflection. The men and women standing over you tonight, they're your hometown. Georgetown, Texas is your home. Eastview High School is your home. It will always be your home. And no one will ever love you more than your hometown. And you are very blessed to be from a community that loves you, the way they do. I hope you will hold on to this visualization of the men and women standing over you tonight and realize that we're always here for you. I would tell you this and encourage you as a dad to trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding, to acknowledge him in all your ways and he will make your path straight. And I would also ask that you know this, this town, your home, the men and women standing over you we will always love you, we will always be praying for you, and we will always believe in you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Brent. Dr. Brent, on behalf of the faculty and staff, I hear Rob proclaim that the student seats before you have met their criteria to participate in this commencement ceremony. Students, please stand at this time. We welcome Dr. Brent back to the podium. All right, stand up, guys. Let's do this. Yeah. To the trustees of Georgetown ISD, as superintendent of schools, it is my distinct honor to certify that the students here before us tonight the Eastview High School class of 2021 have met the requirements as determined by the state of Texas and the Georgetown Independent School District Board of Trustees for high school graduation. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Brent. Students, you may now be seated. I'll ask that the first two rows stand and take your place. All right, that would be the first, yep, you guys. <laughs> there you go, don't be too nervous. I'll ask also that parents please remember, after the top 10 and after our special guests on this side, we will read from side to side. 
So keep those cameras rolling, keep those pictures ready, and let's begin to celebrate our graduates. At this time, Ms. Maria Ariano and Mr. Tony Mata, please call the class of 2021. I'm not hot. There we go. Eden Rebecca Van Spybrook. Brooke Nevra Perry. Isabel Ray Severson. Aaron Renee Guerrero. Ashani Sathyanathan. Alyssa Samantha Vidales. Lindsay Elaine Neighbors. Liam Prajapati Patel. Mawada Hisham Ilbenhawi. McKenna Noel Lang. Justin David Neiser. Alice Jasmine Ramos. Nadia Aileen Barnes. <laughs> Vivica J. Isostomo. Lorenzo Lucio Dominguez, Jr. Alexander Kimball Eldridge. Damaris Andrea Minas. Ezequiel Rubio Cabrera. Henry Gaciel Silva Morales. John Daniel Scott Turbush. <laughs> Malik Jeremiah Wilder. Isabella Luis Acurso. Aracelis Macia.
Luis Alfonso Acosta Cardona. Katie Maria Magdaleno Martinez. Samantha Ann Acuna. Isabela Medea Maldonado. Christian Acuna Suarez. Christine Joe Maldonado. Aiden Christian Adams. Lindsay Alexandra Mann. Ramon Aguilera Rodriguez. Trevion Deshaun Mann. Daniel Abdullah Alam. Benjamin Thomas Martin. Cassandra Darelli Albarran. Avery Lynn Martin. Angelina Sky Alcala. Abraham Martinez Gonzalez. Rana Muyad Almabobi. James Carney Mason. <laughs> Kayla Grace Alstein. Eddie Mata. Autumn Lee Alvarez. Emma Ruth Matthews. Cynthia Hernandez Angel. Morgan Faith McCann. <laughs> Hannah Louise Anthony. Nicholas Shane McCann. Lily Ann Anthony. Grace 
Emma McCormick. Gianna Lee Amore Asher. Chloe Elizabeth McDonald. Jonathan Michael Avery. McKinley Cooper McLaughlin. Brian Miguel Aviles Antunes. Caleb Alexander Minky. Javon Clay Baber. Bree Syria Bell Michael. Tanner Ryan Ballou. <laughs> Michael Jacob Mendoza. Israel Roy Barajas. Alexia Susana Michel. Kale David Barkley. Julian Mijares. Marilyn Lee Bargainer. <laughs> Gabriela Roland Milsa. Odalianis Barroso Martinez. Hannah Marie Minini. Alex Bautista. Angelica Lisette Mireles. McKenna Kate Baylor. Jose Montalvo. Micaela Luis Beam. Leila Gail Moore. Natalie May Bell.
Hailey Alex Morales. Anthony Benitez. Ethan Andrew Morenzi. Jesse Benitez. Gloria Lee Moreno. Oscar Benitez. Caleb Moreno. Cole Thompson Blair. Ramses Mancel Moreno. Hunter Ryan Blish. Christopher Colin Moss. Sage Josephine Boff. Carlos Uriel Muñoz Valle. Sydney Jean Border. Danica Deborah Newton. Kayla Renee Vasquez. Mark Wesley Nines. Tanner Evan Bray. Jacqueline Paola Nolan. Olivia Taylor Kathleen Bresser. Dylan Charles Norman. Marion Deshawn Brooks. Madeline Eileen O'Brien. Dylan Deshawn Brown. Claire Emily Oshoni. Mary May Brown.
Tyler David Omen. Lauren Olivia Bryant. Angelina Marie Ortiz. Nicole Elizabeth Bucky. Luis Manuel Ortiz. Brisa Bueno. Brandon Ortiz Ibarra. Brooke Carey. Brooke Kelly Bullard. Liam Davis Otmers. Amari Araya Bunton. Isaiah Adetokumbo Owofade. Brooke Elizabeth Burke. Giselle Ann Pacheco. Elizabeth Ann Bush. Roselyn Padron. Samantha Rose Calderon. Madeline Grace Parsons. Alexis Thelma Calzada. Angel Gabriel Perez Zuniga. Love you, man. I love you, Ma. <laughs> Vanessa Marie Calzada. Anthony Francisco Perez. Summer Taylor Campbell. Daniel Perez. Hawk Kevin Canfield. <laughs> Nicolas Ryan Perez. Christopher Richard Campos.
Viviana Marisa Pérez. Brianna Madeline Canoni. Christopher Mark Peterson. Vanya Cano Garza. Jace Aaron Petty. Hunter Addison Card. Alexandra Pineda. Jamie Melissa Cardona. Luis Angel Pio Quinto Maganda. Ryan. Cameron Michael Poe. Jason DeAndre Caranco. Jonah Harry Holmes. Angelina Carreño. <laughs> Brianna Rene Ponce. <laughs> Andrea Martina Carrillo. Andrew Ryan Prater. Beth Carrillo. Tristan Randall Quintana. Elida Marie Carrizales. Isaiah Lafayette Quinton Jackson. Alexandra Olivia Castillo. Briseidi Ramirez Chavez. Samuel Castro. Estefanía López Ramirez. Tyler Blake Champagne. Giovanni Ramirez Muñoz. Malachi Demarion Cheney Grant. 
Israel López Ramírez. Chloe Nora Chenault. Raquel Elizabeth Ramírez. Portia Lauren Cinco. Ingrid Andrea Ramírez Ramos. Kiara Alexis Clay. Jared Reluk Reagan. Ryden Rope Clayman. Hamin Arman Reynolds. Amy Sarah Kleins. Jaden Matthew Reynolds. Josefina Maria Cecilia Colderon. Annette Claire Richardson. Amari Meno Colsey. Anna Grace Richardson. Avery James Conrad. Kaylee Janae Riggins. Melody Ramirez Contreras. Leticia Esperanza Rios. Trevor William Robert Conway. Alex Zahir Rodriguez. Maricruz Cordero Rodriguez. David Adam Rodriguez. D'Angelo Corey. Carlos Eduardo Rogel Ortiz. Connor Ray Corley. Eric Fernando Rojas. Joshua Caleb Paul Cotsworth. Andre Samuel Romero. Ashley Lynn Cousineau. Charles Eugene Ross III. Renee Nicole Cousineau. Mara Faye Ross. Adriana Cuellar Ramirez. Maya Leora Ross. Jonathan Patrick Cummins. Ana Luisa Rosset. Mason Michael Cunningham. Julian Cruz Rubio.
Aaron Eli Davis Jr. Patricia Carmen Ruiz. Philip Anthony Davis. Zachary Davis Russell. Maya Marie De Hoyos. Samantha Danielle Seda. Denise De La Cruz. Paulina Sainz. Angelica De La Torre. Diana Edith Sanchez Garcia. Jonathan Herbert Desvito. Grace Alea Sanchez Ruiz. Amber Angelica Delgado. Colin Coltrane Sanford Jr. Lori Ann Delgado. Haley Marie Satterfield. Caleb Michael Devon. Faith Alexis Saucedo. Jonah Paul Diaz. How are you? Tanaira Precious Saucedo. Ahmed Diaz Carrera. Brianna Jacqueline Schooley. Roland Ernesto Diaz de Leon. Jessica Chelsea Schroeder. Amy Yadieliz Diaz Diaz. Joseph Ian Sedwick. Catherine Elaine Dittman. Analisa Adriana Segura. Stephen Daniel Dolans. Madison Nicole St. Clair. Isaac Frederick Dominguez. Daniel Serna Carrillo. Uriel Dominguez. Kenya Jene Simmons. Simon James Dorothy. Joseph Christian Sims.
Molly Elizabeth Dunham. Tyree Bong Simpson. Brianna Louise Earl. John Curtis Scross. Caleb Turtle Eden. Peyton Janelle Slimer. Willie Douglas Edwards the fourth Kimberly May Smalley Jacob Bradley Elkins Cole William Smith Haley Rios Enciso. Liberty Fang Smith. <laughs> Pamela Esparza. <laughs> Kinsley Dene Smitherman. Alyssa Danielle Esquivel. Samantha Soto. Estrella Ramirez Fernandez. Jenna Lee Stemnitz. Nathaniel Tyler Fernando. Nicholas Allen Sturgeon. Mia Helen Xiaoping Ferraro. Madeline Renee Teller. Magali Figueroa Mendiola. Jafet Tapia. Morgan Jean Fowler. Kaylee Michelle Taylor. Joshua Alejandro Franco Zamora. Alberto Tinoco Valdez. Christian Seth Andrew Franklin. Charles Truett Thompson. Brianna Yahaira Frutos. Francisco Manuel Tirado Lopez. Ernesto Garcia Galicia Jr. Vivian Rose Treadway. Ángel García Torres.
Jorge Alberto Trejo Leos. Bethany Noel Garrett. Carson Wyatt Tucker. Ryan Russell Gase. Miguel Angel Ugarte Solis. Tristan Renee Gaswind. <laughs> Ashlyn Dream Balades. <laughs> Jose Abisai Gatica Rodriguez. Amanda Victoria Valenzuela. Timothy David Gothier. Daisy Cardona Valverde. Justin O'Neill Gilbert Jr. Zachary Benjamin Van Curen. Jordan Keeley Gilbreth. Brenda Juliana Vanegas Garcia. Lawrence Allen Gill. Emilio Vargas Velasco. Eric Emilio Gomez. Walter Augusto Vasquez Palma. Jesus Gomez. Jet Allen Vaughn. Richard Genaro Gonzalez. Jose Martin Vasquez Jr. Ana Cristal Ortega Gonzalez. Corraima Vega. Jordan Alexa Gonzalez. Esmeralda Velázquez Ortiz. Riley Brooke Gonzalez. Maria Luisa Velázquez. Tanya Michelle Gordon. Priscila Vidales. Jesús Ernesto Gracia Cabrera. Rosa Strobel Vieira. Andrea Catherine Sinsel Graham. Carlos Rafael Villarreal Jr. Oscar Granados. 
Joshua Gerardo Villarreal. Hector Daniel Gutierrez. Paola Villarreal. Jesús Elogio Gutiérrez. Severiano Villarreal Jr. Adrián Lee Guzmán. Vanessa Lynn Villarreal. Madison Riley Hale. Margarita Emily Villegas. Zoe Danielle Hardeman. Park Christian Bogler. Chrisaya Sheree Hardin. Okay. Haley Marie Wagner. Cameron Latre Hatley. Logan Andrew Walker. Abigail Merrill Heaton. And Marie Lynn Walling. Jalen James Helmbold. Jonathan Emerson Watts. <laughs> Rafferty Glenn Hurd. Mariah Alexis Watts. Ryan Seth Hernandez. Jordan Cassandra Webb. Serena Renee Hernandez Davis. Michaela Marie Wesley. Edward Benjamin Hernandez Ramirez. Oh my God. <laughs> Kaylin Tara Westbrook. Sherlyn Maite Herrera. Kayla Madison White. Evan Madison Highland. Haley Catherine Williams. Hua Huang. Mitchell Alexander Widlowski. Jada Latia Holmes.
Logan Thomas Williams. Braden Alexander Holt. Sierra Leanne Williams. Diego Alan Huerta Pitones. Noah Eugene Wilson. Alma Delia Hurtado Benitez. Angelo Michael Hitua Borladarski. DeAndrea Margaret Hutton. Madeline Jean Walbrook. Priscilla Marlene Iningues. Aaron Christopher Wolf. Edna Daniela Iruegas. Eli Olivia Woods. Axel Jaimes. Samuel Mitchum Yantis. Ángel Gabriel Jaramillo Buenrostro. Johnny Ibarra. <laughs> Julisa Jaramillo González. Eva Sierra Josephine Sain. Parker Raymond Perry. Diamonte Sarate. Get it, baby, let's go. Robert Johnson the third. Gregory Andrew Savala. Adele Elizabeth Jones. Oh my God. Andrew Tyler Cellini. Sydney Nicole Jones. Andrea Alexandra Zuniga Hidalgo. Melissa Juan Porcayo. Leslie Juarez Amaro. <laughs> Cecilia Juarez Cuevas. John Calvin Keller Jr.
Isaiah Montrell Kendricks. Hannah Nicole Kilpatrick. Jimmy Lee Niss. Nathaniel Kai Coit. Cassidy Nicole Lala. Amy Jane Lambert. Aiden Navarro Laurent. Brianna Ray Law. Joan Lee. Jamari Deshawn Lemons. Jasmine Estela Leon. Gabriel Martin Luis Lopez. Sofia Lopez. Victor Alfonso Lopez Jr. Kevin Lopez Gutierrez. So first of all, let's give these graduates a round of applause. supposed to read what's in this notebook and I'm gonna get back to that in just one second I gotta say four things number one never have I ever had anybody do the splits on the stage number two Herf Jones our kids love hair we need big hats that's two and number three the young man that fell over here you fell for it you got right up came up here, smiled, walked down those steps, and was proud. Number four, you want to see an exciting graduate? Greg Zavala showed up. He was so happy to be here. And that's what you saw. Guys, I, I, I can't make it up. It's 2021. All right. So thank you to all the parents, teachers, community members, board, and GISD leadership for your devotion to our students and to the class of 2021. We are internally grateful for your support. Graduates, I ask you to participate in a tradition that is long overdue. At this time, please stand. Move your tassel from right to left. It's official, guys. Come on. At this time, please join us as we sing our alma mater. Graduates, on that last line, 
I want you to throw your hats as high as you can. You've earned that moment. Get ready to sing.
Marechi loco quiere bailar, el Marechi loco quiere bailar. Quiere bailar el Marechi loco, quiere bailar el Marechi loco. El Marechi loco quiere bailar, el Marechi loco quiere bailar. Quiere bailar el Marechi loco, quiere bailar el Marechi loco. Chiquiti bumba la bimbo ba, chiquiti bumba la bimbo ba. A la bi wa la ba wa la bi bumba, a la bi wa la ba wa la bi bumba. Chiquiti bumba la bimbo ba, chiquiti bumba la bimbo ba. A la bi wa la ba wa la bi bumba, a la bi wa la ba wa la bi bumba. Cuando tiene el hambre, cuando tiene frío, cuando tiene el hambre, cuando tiene frío. Los pies se dicen pio pio pio, los pies se dicen pio pio pio. Cuando tiene el hambre, cuando tiene frío, cuando tiene el hambre, cuando tiene frío.
Gracias. 